When I was younger, as a, a rabbi, a theologian, my anguish was theodicy. Um, let me explain theodicy. I'm not talking about Homer's work, theodicy. I'm talking about T-H-E-O-D-I-C-Y, which is how we justify God, um, particularly in the face of evil in the world. If God is a beneficent God, if God is fair and God is just, how is it that evil can flourish? And often good people are not rewarded. And, and that, that was a, an abiding question for me. Um, as I've gotten older, I, I've become just maybe more jaded. Uh, I'm more accepting of injustice in the world. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't work to change it. That's what I do with my life. But I'm not as angry with God about it. Mm -hmm. I've taken it as a human obligation. Um, can I blame God for a tsunami? Maybe. Um, can I blame God for uh, income inequality? No, only humans get blamed mm -hmm. for that. So um, there are injustices that we can work to change. So for me, my relationship with God has become a bigger question. Mm -hmm. how, how I talk about God, how I think about God, I'm trained as a theologian. Mm -hmm. Those questions are easy. What's become more urgent for me is whether and how I experience God. Because it's one thing to talk the talk, it's another thing to have the experience. And that I am, like so many, um, thirsty for more. And that, mm -hmm. that has become something that I've begun to focus on. I never used to think of myself as someone who had great spiritual needs because I thought I could fulfill them through study. I'm a professor, <laughs> right? If you read, read enough books, you have the answer. Except that some answers don't come from books. Mm -hmm. And as a result, I've become more thirsty for spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. And some of that even relates to the mind-body shift. Um, now that I'm in my 60s, I've taken up yoga. So, um, you know, the truth is, in yoga, physically, you stretch. But you stretch in more ways than one. Mm -hmm.